Bread and butter wines pair with the life moments you love, offering a rich and jammy Cabernet Sauvignon, a silky smooth Pinot Noir, and a buttery Chardonnay. Bread and butter wines are delicious. Find bread and butter wines in your favorite store. Moving 92.5. Second date update. We've done so many second dates. I would say each one tends to fall into a certain category. Mm, okay, yeah. Like mm. there's the drunken one night stands. Oh, for mm. sure. A lot of those. Mm-hmm. There's the blind date that was set up through friends. Uh, always yeah, a disaster. It's more rare, but <laughs> yeah. we get a lot of those. Sometimes we get a lick date. Lick? No, like, where a couple your... licks each other's faces for hours. No, I've Ew. never heard of that. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. No, that was just a dog video I just watched. Oh. What? A really good one on YouTube. <laughs> it must have still been in my head. Huh? But no, um, back to the second date update. One of my favorites is the old school high school crush date. Oh. oh. It's kind of like redemption after yeah. having a crush for so many years and then you finally get to go out. That's You're right. Just like, lucky they're not married yet. And that's <laughs> what's happening today with one of our listeners named Noah. He's been looking to reunite with an old classmate. Oh, oh Noah. Noah. Noah, you found me. No. I'm here. <laughs> I am ready for no, you. Dude. Are you calling about Jeffrey, Noah? <laughs> Hey guys, no, I'm not calling about Jeffrey. I'm not this time. Okay. Oh. This time. Okay. Must have been rich. Yeah, no, I, yeah, because he went to a rich private school. I don't so. want you either, Noah. Okay. <laughs> Forget you. Jeffrey gets all mad. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Who are you calling about, Noah? Yeah, who's this? Who's this person that's so much better? It's not Jeffrey. Uh, okay, so there's this girl that I've known forever, and we went to high school together. And can I interrupt, Noah? Does she have a name? Her name's Anna. Okay. All, All right. right, Anna. So you went to high school with Anna. Anna, Noah, I like the flow. Uh-huh. Like the uh-huh. flow so what did yeah. how did you end up reconnecting with Anna? Well, I mean, we you know, we dated in high school and she moved away. She went oh, to you... she went to school. Oh. Oh, you guys actually dated in high school. It wasn't just a crush. I guess what I mean by date was more in my mind. Oh, that's not, uh, okay. that's that not weird count? at all. Well, it does count. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Case, yeah, it does. I'm dating Sofia Vergara right yeah. now. Hey, <laughs> for us lonely guys in high school, it counts. Okay, in high Don't school. Don't you dare discredit us. <laughs> in high school, maybe. I feel no you know No way, of. dude. I was a lonely girl in high school. I was trying to get anybody to make out with me, and it didn't count. Okay? Oh. It didn't count at all. All right. Well, so <laughs> you didn't actually date in high school, but you were able to reconnect years later. How did that happen? So she would come home. Um, like I said, she's in college pretty far away. She would come home for the holidays. Okay. And uh, while she was home, you know, we would hang out. Oh, yeah. And so one of the places that we actually met up one night was this local bar that a bunch of friends would always hang out at. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, this all sounds typical. I think we've all lived this story, right? Yeah, totally. But is I this your date that you're talking about or is this just how you reconnected? So this was the moment that we actually spent a lot of time together to reconnect was that time in the bar. Okay. All right. Uh, and so then, okay. did you like ask her out on a date and you went on a date later or you just made out that night? So there was a lot of flirting and a lot of hanging out. And yeah, I did kiss her. Oh, Ooh. finally okay. got the kiss after all these years. Oh, wait, was that, was that I the... go to hometown bars and make out with guys from high school, though. Yeah. Doesn't but mean that anything. was like two years <laughs> ago. You... <laughs> Sometimes. Of course she does. She's like 22. It's kind of That's fun. That's what you do when you're 22. And she just hit the bar series. So wait, hold on. Oh, wow. Back to you, Noah. The girls was that were not the... like that when I went back home. <laughs> oh, I just think it wasn't yeah. for you, honey. <laughs> oh, um, it was for everybody else. Oh, but, okay. Noah, was this the first kiss you guys have ever shared? This was the first kiss, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no. How was so, it? This was like a big moment for you then. Whoa. This was a huge moment for me. I mean, okay. it just rocked my world. Um, but wow. unfortunately, the next morning, she had to fly out. Oh, oh no. And there's where the airport scene comes in and every rock <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> No, don't leave. Yeah, stay here. Give up on all of your education just for me. <laughs> so what happened next? She didn't invite me to the airport, which oh. kind of sucked. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But about three weeks later, I came to visit her. Oh. Whoa. She With invited an, you yeah, out? An invitation or just That's you all. showed up? <laughs> it was kind of a little bit of both. <laughs> she didn't really invite me, but she said oh. the door's kind of always open. Oh. Okay. Oh. Huh. I, I know what that's like. Or it's like, yeah, we should totally hang out sometime. <laughs> yeah. And you take that as, oh, I'm going to book my ticket now. She's yeah. like, we're so See, far away. He's I not usually, come. Yeah, when I say that, there's like the 1% chance they might come. That yeah. I, yeah. Well, and it, I mean, that's a big deal, though, because that's like inviting her old high school whatever into her new world. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, I guess the best gauge is how did she react when you showed up? 
I guess it was a little, a little weird because it was a more surprise, and so she didn't really know how to handle it. But she was still excited to see me for sure. And unfortunately, she had to work oh. uh, a lot of the yeah. time that I was there. Well, you didn't tell her you were coming, so right? She can't totally. Take <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. We we spent time together during the day, but then she had to work night. She works for our catering business. Okay. So I kind of hung out with her roommate while she was working, but I don't know. I, uh-oh. There are a couple of things that just kind of make me feel like there might be another guy in the picture with her. So uh, why do you think there's another guy? Just the way her roommate was talking. It's just like she was dropping some hints, but like she wouldn't actually talk about it. This isn't really a second date update, though. That's this what is I'm like wondering. you were in a one sided relationship and we need to figure out how she feels. Is that <laughs> what you want? I don't know. I disagree with you. I think that it is more of a second date update because when I was there, we walked around and held hands and talked about the past and our lives and kind of like oh. our relationship we've had over the years. Oh, okay. Okay. And right. you did get that kiss. I mean, you can't put that aside. That's huge. You I don't know. Uh, she wouldn't hold hands in public on campus if she had another boyfriend. Unless her yeah. hands were cold. <laughs> but I don't know. Let's figure this out, okay? We're going to play a song. We'll come back. We'll call Anna for you. And we'll ask her, do you have a crush on Noah? Circle yes or no or kind of. All right. All right. Hold on. If you're just tuning in, today's second date update is the kind of thing that movies are made of. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, high school boy meets uh-huh. high school girl. Girl goes off to college. Years later, she comes back to visit and makes out with boy at a dive bar. Boy <laughs> follows girl back to college, uh-huh. uninvited. Girl's busy and has to work a catering job, so boy mostly hangs out with girl's roommate. Uh-huh. Yeah. Boy leaves and calls a radio station because now he has more questions than answers. Yeah. Oh, classic. Yeah, Starring yeah. Zach Efron and Meryl Streep. Yeah. That's an interesting mix. I mean, Meryl Streep is a, a co-ed, huh? Yeah. She could pull off a college yeah. student. But yes, one of our listeners, Noah, <laughs> reconnected with an old high school crush named Anna. They had a little bit of a fling. And when he went and visited her at her college, she had to work a lot. Yeah. And, but, you know, he didn't tell her that she was coming. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's the first mistake <laughs> yeah. of many that I think he made. But he got the vibe that maybe something else was going on with Anna. Maybe uh, it's another guy. Right. He's not really sure. So we're going to call Anna and try and figure out what's going on. That's right. I mean, I just don't want her to slip away. Okay. Uh, so, Noah, I have a question. The one thing we didn't ask is after you got back, have you and Anna still been talking or is she just not answering any of your phone calls? So this has been all over text. And anytime I actually call her on the phone, she doesn't pick up. Uh, okay. 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 So not a good sign. A lot of questions that you want to ask. What's the number one question that you have for her? I just want to know if she feels the same way I do oh. after all this time. Do you have a maybe a better just, question yeah. that is more likely to get a yes? I don't know if you're going to want to answer I think the answer to, the that. answer to that one. Or if, if she would just give me a chance to make this okay. work and I'll, I'll make it work with all this distance. Okay. okay. Oh, we're, we're getting yeah. closer to something yeah. that <laughs> might turn out well. But oh, let's give buddy. this a shot. Young okay? love, Noah. Let's do it. We're going to dial Anna's phone number right now, and we're going to ask her the question. You ready? Oh. Well, not the question. Well, a question. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> can, you, can you call her, please? Okay. Yeah. All right. You're going right. to be fine. Here we go. Hello? Hi, I'm looking to speak with Anna. Uh, this is Anna. Hi, Anna. My name's Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. I was hoping you have a second to talk. Um, from the radio? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know it's kind of an antiquated device. It's usually in cars. <laughs> it's like Spotify in your whip. Yeah. I'm trying to make it easy. Music comes out of it sometimes, and sometimes go. people talk. <laughs> She's not an idiot. Well, Hi, she, Anna. You sounded really confused. Yeah, what, what's going on? <laughs> well, we're a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. We do a segment called a second date update. That's where if you go out with someone and afterwards, if they're not calling you back, you can reach out to us and we'll call that person for you to try and figure out the reason why. Okay. So one of our listeners reached out and wanted to ask about you. The guy's name is Noah. Oh, my God. Do you know a Noah? <laughs> yeah, of course she knows a Noah. I mean, it's not really a first date you guys went on. It was like a whole weekend thing. We talked to Noah. He seems like a really nice guy. 
Yeah, he's Noah is nice. Okay. okay. I don't I don't know what you want me to tell you. Well, how about we tell you what we know and then you can go off of our story. I mean, I I don't think it'll matter, but sure. Okay. okay. Well, let's give it a shot. Oh, what okay. do you say? Okay? <laughs> so, Noah said that he knew you from high school. You guys reconnected when you came back to visit at a bar. You had a little bit of a fling at the bar, a little kiss. He went to visit you at your college, but you weren't able to spend a lot of time with him because you had to work. I don't know why he's telling you all this. I don't. Wh- why is he reaching out to you all? I never gave him permission to talk to somebody about this situation. That's really weird. I mean, it's pretty generic information. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you don't like him, just say that. Hey, I don't like him. I'm not attracted. That's it. Like, we just want to know. No judgment on you. Yeah. I mean... I am engaged. Oh. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, that's why you're so secret. That's not good. Wait, girl. hold up. Wait, no, why are they you engaged? Before I got engaged recently, it was kind of like unsure about what the status was with my fiance and I. We weren't like oh. official at that point. Huh. And I guess I was just feeling like if I'm soon to be a married person, like kind of having some doubts and. Noah and I connected, oh. and we kissed at the bar. So, okay. so wait, oh. Noah didn't know that you were engaged? Uh. No, he wait, did not. You didn't tell him? So I wasn't engaged when we kissed at the bar, and then he just he just randomly showed up at my doorstep at school. We didn't talk about it. He just, like, appeared. So, okay, oh, I get yeah, it. I don't get... ask, don't tell. No, no wait, that's like, not where that's from. Oh. <laughs> but like, yeah. you know, there's yeah. so yeah. many <laughs> red flags with your engagement right now. Like, one, you weren't committed to the person right before you got engaged, which seems like all over the place to me. Two, a guy shows up to your door and you don't even have the courage to tell him, hey, I'm engaged. I mean, he's a friend. I didn't, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah, but, but you being engaged isn't going to hurt his feelings. It doesn't have anything to do with him. It will. Yeah. He really likes her. Well, I know, so I but like, he shouldn't have showed up. It didn't give her time to plan a lie. And that's on him. <laughs> Why lie? Sure. Why don't you say, I'm engaged? Shouldn't you be <laughs> celebrating? Shouldn't you be excited to tell everybody? Brooke, I mean, it's a, it's a legit reason why you can't date somebody. And Brooke, you don't know whether or not his feelings would be hurt finding out that she's engaged unless we ask Noah directly. <laughs> Well, <laughs> because this is going to get weird. I need to tell you, Anna, yeah. that Noah's actually been on the other line listening this entire time, and he wants to talk to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Anna, hey. Uh, oh, man. So, this oh, is, my God. <laughs> I wish you could have told me. Right. It didn't really feel like there was an opening to Noah. <laughs> Um, what do you mean? I mean, we spent, I mean, even even when we were in t- like, you know, when you came in town for the holidays, like we walked around and I don't know, I, I've always really, really liked you. You've always been my dream girl. And I didn't want to tell you that because that Aww. makes it weird. I know, but I'm sorry. I have to tell you that now. And it destroys me to hear that you're engaged. Oh, see, Brooke. Well, of course it does, but it also destroys him that you weren't honest with him, Anna. Why is it so hard to be honest these days? I don't understand. Because of that. It's college, Brooke. You know. But then you shouldn't be engaged if you were walking around campus. I didn't know what to do. Everything kind of happened really quickly. It took me by surprise, and I'm sorry. Uh. I'm sorry, Noah. I mean, Noah, do you want me to send you back the pillow? Pillow? What no, pillow? Can, can you not? Don't talk about that on what the radio, pillow? please. Well, what you pillow? Have to now. You brought it up. You're the one who called the radio, so I think we know nothing about a pillow. Yeah. Now this is uh, insanely embarrassing. Uh, Noah sent me a pillow of his fate. Oh, sweet Noah. No, I didn't. Oh wow. I kind of love it. No. It's kind of funny, kind of sweet. No, no you're a catch. Really I think you're not. a catch, Noah. <laughs> no, if that's your girlfriend, yeah. yes. Whatever. Not a no. Dude, don't, don't bag on this guy. He's having a hard <laughs> moment right now. <laughs> what was going on in your mind when you sent her a pillow of your face? <laughs> I mean, I can't be there for her physically because of the distance. And so I thought it was something that she could at least like have, remember with me, and maybe even cuddle with. Oh, right. see, if you're yeah. dating, that's cute. Maybe okay. she's drunk. She'll kiss it a little bit. Yeah. Maybe do a little more with it. It. Like, what are you doing with a pillow right now, Anna? Like, you have a pillow of some dude's face at your house when your fiancé comes over. 
it's just in my closet and I just don't know what to do with it. So Aww. I didn't, it felt wrong to just throw it away. Mm-hmm. Aww. That's a okay, I need to ask a question, but before I do, I want to know how serious is this fiance, Anna? What? <laughs> I'm actually with Jeffrey on this one. I mean, I it sounds like, like the, the switch is turning on and off. It is. And like, I feel like you're holding on to things like his pillow or letting him stay without telling him because you actually do really like Noah still. I love my fiance and I've been honest with him about the situation with Noah. Yes, I should have told Noah I was engaged up front. Yeah. I wasn't engaged when I was home for the holidays and like it was kind of freaking out a bit. So mm-hmm. wh- what are you saying? Is this guy pre-med? Is he rich? Is he, is he like a, an athlete? Is he a frat boy? No, I'm not talking to you guys about this. It's just it's not going to happen. He's okay. okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't think the marriage is going to happen. But, yeah. well, I need to ask at this point, Anna, would you like to go out <laughs> on another date with Noah? Oh, no. We'll pay for it. We'll fly him out. Or we'll, you know, or we'll at least pay for the postage for you to send his pillow back to him. There you go. <laughs> that is nice. I like that. Good deal. I'm going to send the pillow back, but I don't need you guys to pay for it. Okay. Thank yeah. you, though, for the very kind offer. Uh, we feel you. Noah, oh, I think you're going to be just fine. You're going to bounce back, you know. Yeah. Uh, I just wish I knew. I just feel like an idiot. Well, it's all right, now, buddy. Bro. It's not on you, man. You know, Noah, I feel bad. Why don't you, when you get the pillow back, why don't you send it over to me, okay? <laughs> I'll try it out. I'll use it the right way. <laughs> I'll use it the right way. You did not just say that. I'll do what you want me to do. Oh no, God. thank you. Moving.